Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this circle with the center O along with this uh, tangent line uh, AB. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, tangent uh, AB length uh, is uh, 24 units and M being as a point of uh, tangency. And moreover, this segment AD is uh, equal to this segment uh, BC and both uh, are these uh, perpendicular to this uh, tangent line and furthermore uh, this uh, code uh, dm length uh, is uh, 15 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle let me label uh, this uh, radius as lowercase r so we are going to find the value of uh, radius r please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here I am going to show you the very first method. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center O with the point of tangency M. As you can see in this uh, next step, and we can see that this uh, OM is the radius uh, of this circle. So let me label this one as lowercase r. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will be 90 degrees. And here we can see this is our radius r and this is our tangent line. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, these points C and uh, D, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's focus on this uh, rectangle ABCD. We can see that this tangent line AB is parallel to this chord uh, CD. Since uh, this uh, side AD equals to this side uh, BC. So therefore we conclude that this uh, AB length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, CD length since this length is 24 so this length has got to be 24 units as well and moreover this angle has got to be 90 degrees as well and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord and here we can see that this uh, radius uh, OM uh, bisects this uh, chord uh, CD into two parts since this whole uh, CD length is uh, 24. So therefore uh, this uh, DP length is going to be half of that one is going to be 12 and likewise this PC length is going to be 12 units uh, as well. So therefore if this uh, DP length is 12 then this uh, AM length has got to be 12 units uh, as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DAM whose uh, side lengths are uh, 12 15 and this uh, AD side is uh, unknown so therefore we are going to recall the Pythagorean uh, triplets uh, 3 4 uh, 5 now let me go ahead and uh, multiply these uh, triplets uh, by 3 across the board and as a result we get a new set of Pythagorean triplets uh, 3 times 3 is going to give us 9 4 times 3 is going to give us 12 and finally 5 times 3 is going to give us 15 and here we got our side lengths uh, 12 and 15 so therefore this uh, AD length has got to be 9 units and if this uh, length uh, AD is 9 then this uh, MP length is going to be 9 and likewise this PC length is going to be 9 units as well and now let's make an observation we know that this OM is the radius uh, R and this uh, segment uh, MP is uh, 9 so therefore uh, this uh, OP length uh, is going to be R minus uh, 9 and finally let's go ahead and connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, D as you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we get this uh, right triangle OPD and now we can see that this uh, OD is the radius of the circle so I'm going to call this one lowercase r 
And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OPD whose side lengths are uh, 12, R minus 9 and R. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And here R is our longest leg. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. We have uh, R minus uh, 9 whole uh, square plus uh, 12 square equal to r square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square i am going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side so therefore this could be written as r square minus uh, 18r plus uh, 81 and then this is going to give us 140 or equal to r square and now we can see this r square cancels out with this uh, r square and as a result we got uh, negative 18 r and when we combine uh, these two constants uh, that is going to give us 225 let's go ahead and move this uh, 225 uh, on the right hand side so therefore we are ended up with the negative 18 r equals to negative 225 on the right hand side Let's divide both sides by negative 18. This negative 18 and negative 18 is gone. So therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be, if we reduce and simplify this thing, that is going to give us uh, 25 divided by 2. So therefore the radius of this circle turns out to be 12.5 units uh, by using this uh, first method. And now I'm going to share with you the second uh, method. And here's our very first step. I have extended this uh, radius uh, OM all the way to N. And as a result, we get this uh, MN as the diameter of this uh, circle. And we know this uh, diameter MN of this circle means that this length is going to be 2 times uh, R. And we know this segment uh, MP is uh, 9 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, segment uh, PN is going to be 2R minus 9. So now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords intersect in a circle, then the product of the measures of the segments of the chord are equal, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see we got these two chords, uh, AC and uh, BD, that intersect each other. And as a result, we get these segments uh, A, B, C, and uh, D, such that uh, A times B equal to C times D, as you can see in this uh, given equation. Now we can see we got these two chords, uh, C, D, and uh, M, N, and they intersect each other at this point, uh, P. And as a result, we get these segments 12, 12, 12. 9 and 2R minus 9. So therefore we are going to apply the intersecting chords theorem uh, on this uh, problem. So I can write this thing uh, 12 times 12 equals to 9 times 2R minus 9. So let's go ahead and multiply out. So that is going to give us 144 equal to Let's distribute this thing that is going to give us uh, 18R minus uh, 81. Let's go ahead and add 81 on both sides. This is gone. So therefore we ended up with the 18R equals to 225. Let's divide both sides by 18. We can see 18 and 18 is gone. So therefore our radius R, if we reduce this uh, right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 25 uh, divided by 2. So therefore our radius uh, r for this uh, circle turns out to be 12.5 units by using uh, this second method. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.